Hamlet, Act 2, Scene 2. I so, God be with ye, now I am alone. Oh, what a rogue and peasant slave am I. Is it not monstrous that this player here, but in a fiction and a dream of passion, could force his soul so to his own conceit that from her working all his visage waned? Tears in his eyes, distraction in his aspect, a broken voice, and his whole function suiting with forms to his conceit and all for nothing, for Hecuba. What's Hecuba to him? Oh, hey to Hecuba! That he should weep for her. What would he do? Had he the motive and the cue for passion? That I have, he would drown the stage with tears. And cleave the general ear with horrid speech. Make mad the guilty and appall the free. Confound the ignorant and amaze indeed the very faculties of eyes and ears. Yet I... A tall and muddy muddy rascal peak. Like John of Dreams, unpregnant of my cause. And can say nothing, no, not for a king. Upon whose property and most dear life a damned defeat was made. Am I a coward? Who calls me villain breaks my pate across. Locks off my beard and blows it in my face. Tweaks me by the nose and gives me the lie of the throat. As deep as to the lungs? Who does me this? Ha, huh? swoons. I should take it, for it cannot be, but I am pigeon-livered and lack gall to make oppression bitter, or ere this. I should have fetted all the region kites with the slave's earthel, bloody body villain. Remorseless, treacherous, lecherous, kindless villain. Why, what an ass am I? This is most brave. That I, the son of a dear father murdered, prompted to my revenge by heaven and hell, must, like a whore, unpack my heart with words and fall a-cursing, like a very drab. A scallion! Fire upon it, fool! About my brain? I have heard that guilty creatures sitting at a play have, by the very cunning of the scene, been struck so to the soul that presently they have proclaimed their malefactions for murder. Though I have no tongue, I will speak with most miraculous organ. I'll have these players play something like the murder of my father before mine uncle. I'll observe his looks. I'll tend him to the quick. If he but blench, I'll know my course. The spirit that I have seen may be the devil, and the devil hath power to assume a pleasing shape. Yea, and perhaps out of my weakness and my melancholy, as he is very potent with such spirits. Abuses me to damn me. I'll have grounds more relative than this. The play's a thing wherein I'll catch the conscience of the king!